how to evaluate the model predictions, how those are used to So if you think about this model, about the results of actions you take, it's easy to think about the consequences, and hence the relative values of false negatives and false positives, which are actually consistent to get the slides I skipped here about. Let's talk about utility, what happens. Blah, blah, blah. So, the value function is a medical issue, it's not a computational issue. Kim decides that, or the hospital decides that, or the patient decides that. I'm just a machine learning guy, not my job. I can help you with it. <coughs> but you guys have to decide it. Um, so, uh, you guys tell me the values you want, and I'll tell you how to achieve that given, given the objective things I can value and measure. <coughs> so, reinforcement learning. <coughs> Think about actionable tasks. The system trips are only asked what are the consequences, and it becomes very natural and stable. <coughs> Summary of arguments. <coughs> if the only verification of prediction is he said so or she said so, <coughs> and there's no way about it, no other way to determine the veracity, <coughs> it does reflect the world. You're probably asking one question. If the action doesn't inform it, if, if, if this prediction doesn't inform action, why bother? Not going to be with it. Now that's nice. Uh, this guy's going to die. This guy's going to do better. <coughs> if, it, if the guy does better, um, it's going to die. Let's take this action. Now it's an action. So this is why I want objective and why I want action. <coughs> this is how if you do what I do, you do it better. <coughs> Usual slides about um, computer, uh, computer science. They get to great people doing great things and colleagues and so forth. <coughs> And that's the same picture I last time. And again, this is the first talk, but I'll talk in this series and you'll look at it if you're interested. And I'll end there. Whew. Questions? So, <clears throat> when Rich Sutton talked last year, 2022, <coughs> he introduced the idea of the automatic world. I, I was talking about a world with AIs in charge, with uh, you know, machines in charge, said why wouldn't an automatic world be even better than that? So, well, so that's what I'm going to ask. If you imagine that maybe the machines are all seeing, all knowing, they know everything, then a lot of the things that you're talking about of making a permanent decision of how to treat the patient, that would ever happen because the machine would know as soon as certain side effects began to occur and those side effects reach a certain level, automatically change the patient to something else, right? Who gives the evaluation function? In Rich's case also, you have to have the cue value, you have to have the value of how good is it being the state if the computer says that, then you say, well, let's get rid of all the people. Whose job is it? And so I, I agree with Rich. I'm happy to have an automated tool that can do it, <coughs> provided I get the same with the evaluation functions for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it might be different than you or you, but this is the quality of life I want. <coughs> if the, so did Rich ask the question of who gives a because the evaluation function, did he answer that question? We, we, we didn't get any, well, <laughs> not? Any, any of that. Okay, but then what about wishing for a robust world? He, he was also dissing situations where there's this paucity of you know, variety and, and going for environments like a coral reef or the, you know, the, the rainforest kind of thing where, where you've got such a tremendous amount of stuff happening that life is good no matter what, right? Because, yeah, some things over here, but you've got 10 billion things o over there. And so you, you didn't mention anything about how robust the world that you're working in is. I, I'm not and, opposed to it, but I think I, I, my, I'm assigned my question. I'm just asking the question. You've got a specific question in mind. So you've got to answer my question. And I think there's other questions, the other, the other directions you can take. You can say, you know, all I care about is my genes. You know, I don't care if I die as long as my children live, or as long as my, my niece and nephew live. You can take that position. And 
Okay, but why does anybody need to die, right? It's because humans don't know how to get to longevity, but presumably machines soon will, and so nobody has to die, right? But then what about living a life where you can't understand anything about how you got where, where, where you are? You should have died by now, but you didn't, and nobody can tell you why because humans can't understand the reason, so you know, machines have done this for us, and it's fantastic, except <laughs> we don't know why. Well, let me ask you a question. What's the value function? Do you want to be alive in a vegetable? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but, but probably that, 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 that is also <laughs> definable, right? You, um, that, why not? Why not? I mean, again, it's like the wonderful world. I'm saying to find wonderful. It'd be the best option would be optimal, to find optimal. Someone has to say, what are you trying to optimize? Start with that. But not, not necessarily a biological someone. I didn't, I didn't say some, that. some entity. And you know, presumably, some entity could come. Oh, well, they can. They can do it. I'd rather, so I don't mind machines having been in charge of making my will take place, of, of, of um, enacting my, my preferences. Right. I want to specify my preference. I don't want you give my preferences for you or you. Right. I want to say, <coughs> this is what I want to do. <coughs> if I'm a vegetable, I already have a will that says, if I become a vegetable, you can pull the plug if I can't cure it. I don't want to, I don't want to be a burden to people if I can't ever be productive again. <coughs> yeah. uh, again, that's my preference. You right. may have different preferences. And now maybe right. society but gives other. Then you just said the word, the word productive. So. <laughs> In a world where no humans are employed anymore because robots can do everything better, what does productive mean then? Well, I tell you what Russ wants. You know, I want to. I want to solve math problems. I want to. Yeah. <coughs> if I lose all my purpose in living, um, I don't know. I guess there's, there's you guys, you know, hedonic people just seek pleasure. I'm not one of those people. You know, I like to yeah. be interested in things. But yet, yeah. <coughs> I want to. I want to be in charge of the value. And now you're saying there's value which I can't possibly have anticipated in having. Would I be happy in a world? Would the Rust then be happy in a world where Rust was a cognizant? Right. Would the Rust be happy in a world where I wasn't productive? I was just sitting around, you know, you know I guess, what was the movie? Was, um, the movie all the fat people in lounge chairs? Wally. 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 Yes, yes. yes. I, I wouldn't be happy in that world. So no, no, no. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I would. So today there was a nature paper that everybody's talking about, about not trusting computers too much because they'll give you illusions that are not true. But what if those illusions are more valuable than we know? Because so all this stuff going on that the detailed facts of humans could not Understand, we're not bright enough to understand. But maybe through God's these will, this, the divine intervention. Yeah. Through these <laughs> illusions, we we can get the feeling that we kind of sort of understand, even though we we can't really understand the details. Well, why do you want to understand? Well, just because I <laughs> like to have some agency over something, you know? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are things, you're correct in saying, there are things I don't know to anticipate thinking about. <coughs> sure, I, I'm not opposed to that realization. Um, I, I'm happy to say, look, I'm happy, I'm happy for me, to, I'm happy for a model where I state what I want, <coughs> and, and then the program figures out how to make that the case. Uh, I want to not be in pain, I want to enjoy certain pleasures. Cause that to happen. And, Again, I had this exercise with my relatives. Um, imagine, imagine, imagine you can have the best meal you've ever had. <coughs> There's a one chance in ten you'll be sick like a dog for that evening. <coughs> would you do it? For me, the answer is obvious. Of course, I would not do it. <coughs> my relatives, some relatives would do it. What about one chance in a thousand? Would you do it? I wouldn't do it. <coughs> one chance in a million? Sure. I mean, <coughs> it's a game. I don't like being sick. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to not be as happy as the best meal I've ever had, <coughs> rather than suffer the consequence of being sick. <coughs> but that's just me. You may have a different opinion. Yeah. It's very subjective what opinions are. <coughs> I'm happy to understand that. And I want my wishes to be honored. And 
my children and my relatives and <coughs> people in general. There's issues of government. Here. <coughs> I want to be a billionaire causing havoc. Well, that means I've got to kill 10 people. Well, the government says that's not appropriate. So there's all sorts of issues that come into that. But I think there's one issue is rich, as, as me personally, people point out correctly. <coughs> there's one step which is predicting what happens if you take an action. And there's evaluating the quality of that, of that world. <coughs> For the first part, I'm happy to say, cause a world which has this happen. Provide I get to provide the evaluation function. And now, no subtleties, and maybe my evaluation is impossible, because you, know, you want to be the richest thing. <coughs> this is the also football players have a contract that says their contract has to, has to pay more than anyone else in their position. More. You can't have two people at the same kind. It just isn't consistent. So issues like that can happen. And clearly, if my win is your loss, then there's a zero-sum game going on. <coughs> issues happen like that. Not to knock that. But at least I want, I want the ability to say, here's what I want. And now maybe there's a discussion that says, you can't have it because that's what this person wants also. <coughs> because society has said you can't, you can't have all these things. At least I want to be part of the discussion of how to cause that to happen. I'm happy to have my program say, you know, you've told me you know, you'd rather lose an arm than <coughs> your nose. <coughs> well, you can make that happen. But, but causing that to happen is something I wanted to, I wanted to give to a, to a program, to a robot, to an agency. And what do you guys think? Um, I don't know if I missed this in the explanation of the evaluation function, but it appears to me, can it factor for, so for the example of the depression one, <coughs> if someone gains weight, could that could possibly affect the numbers on the other yes. side. So if I if I say, oh, I don't I don't value weight gain, yeah. and I want to reduce suicidal thoughts, but then that because I didn't value weight gain, I do increase weight, which then increases my suicidal <coughs> thoughts. So then it's okay. You're talking about so talking about reflex. Yeah. So, so that's another whole body kind of worm. The person has said as of today, here's my values. Give me the pill which. Give me the medication which achieves this. You're saying, what about second order effects? Because you gain weight, that makes you more suicidal. I didn't know that then. You're welcome to change your mind and say, no, <coughs> I realize the error of my ways. Weight gain is actually not as good as I want. Or, or, maybe I, or maybe the program could figure out that, I'm talking about six, week, six weeks, maybe in the course of one year thing, that be multi. Yeah. If I'm playing poker, I don't want to win all my hands. If I play you one hand, sure. I play a thousand hands. <coughs> it's stupid for me not to have a blow. I have to think about the consequences. I have to. It's deceptive. Wouldn't humans do that better than the <coughs> prediction model? Because the prediction model is just following the well the function, but not considering other factors that might I, affect I the function. Again, if, imagine my goal is my one year goal, and, the, and again, the person says I don't care about weight gain. He doesn't care about <coughs> this thing. You're saying there's going to be a consequence that maybe the program could predict mm -hmm. that waking has a consequence of, <coughs> of, to, of increased um, you know, anhedonia or what have you, increases. You can imagine the second or third order effects. The same way you know, playing one game of poker is different than playing multiple games okay. of poker. If I can look at that, if I have a model for what people want, someone says, I want, I don't care about waking, you can say, you know, there could be a discussion. Did you realize, Joe? That if you get waking, mm -hmm. you might feel sad about it. No, no, I'm not going to care about I'll ask you again a year from now. Okay. So you can imagine a discussion about this. Because maybe people don't realize these long term consequences. Or maybe the program says it. <coughs> I'm not going to honor that. I'm going to, the program can say, I hear your wish. Here's why you probably don't really mean that. And have a discussion. If Joe says, no, no, that's what I want, really want, then you honor that wish. Again, you know, someone who's debilitated, who's not, who, who lost his mental faculties, has no whole issues. And at what point do you not get people on evaluation functions? Um, and again, that's a whole topic that will lead to the psychologists and social workers and so forth. But for a cognizant person, I think that's the reason they do that. And have discussions, and it's mm -hmm. that you mentioned. Great. Okay. Well, we, we've used up our 80 minutes. Oh, so you get this back. <laughs> I'll take it back. <laughs> yeah.
And you can have your goldfish back. And I will give Miriam one of these. So, and Thank you. You can fantasize of what to eat for this <laughs> social night. So at this time next week, right? Yes, it, it, at this time. It's a strange time to eat, but um, <laughs> you know, we, 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 we don't control everything. We can't control Yeah, that, that's great. Okay, well, thanks. That, that was great. Thank you.